Welcome back to Timeless Words of Wisdom. In this episode, we are going to talk about the legacy we leave behind. Now think for a moment. If you had to suddenly pass away today, would you be satisfied with the life you've lived so far? What do you think would be the best thing that anyone can say about you? And what would be the worst thing that anyone can say about you? And would anyone's life be better because you lived? Or would anyone's life be worse because you lived? Now where am I going with this? Well, it is now 25 years since Graham Staines and his two sons, Timothy and Philip, were burnt in their vehicle in Orissa. And we may think, okay, a movie was made on their lives and their legacy lives on. But the truth is, there are many people who are living better lives because of Graham Staines and his work in Orissa. There are many people who suffered from leprosy and were totally rejected, disowned by their own families and living together in a place where nobody cared to look at them, nobody cared to even touch them or give them something to eat or drink. And Graham Staines and his family made their lives better. They showed them love. They helped them heal, provided medicines, provided provision, provided skills so that learn, they learn how to take care of themselves, get an income. And no matter how many People came to that center where he worked. All of them felt a touch and all of them are living better lives because of this man and his work. So he leaves behind a legacy of life, a legacy of love, a legacy of care and concern for other human beings. What is the legacy you will leave behind? Have you spent all your life just thinking about yourself? Well, you have another thing coming. Is that how you want to be remembered by others in your future generations? Is that going to be the one-line story someone will speak about you? John chapter 12 verses 24 and 25 says, and this is Jesus speaking, and he says, I assure you, most solemnly I tell you, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just one grain. It never becomes more but lives by itself alone. But if it dies, it produces many others and yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. But anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it to life eternal. Whoever has no love for, no concern for, no regard for his life here on earth, but despises it, preserves his life forever and ever. This is from the Amplified Classic Version. But don't we see this in Graham Stain's life? He died, but his life produced fruit that yields a rich harvest in the lives of those whose lives he touched. Whatever he did, it lives on. It lives on even today. And it will live on in the lives and the families of those people whose lives are transformed for the better by what he did. So though it looks like he lost his life, eternally he has not lost it at all. Eternally he lives forever. And his memory will be a blessing to many people in the time to come. And he will inspire and continue to inspire people to have more faith. And even just as Gladys forgave those people who killed her husband, she prayed for those who did this, that they would know the real true love, which will change their hearts and change them, so they will not do any harm to anybody else. Theirs is a legacy of love, theirs is a legacy of forgiveness and theirs is a legacy of inspiring others for the better 
so that they can be better than they were before. The same cannot be said about those who have killed others. The same cannot be said about those who have stolen from others, cheated others, defrauded others of what is truly theirs. Will they be able to have a clear conscience? Will they be able to say anything good about themselves, honestly? And thanks to Jesus, even those who have a guilty conscience for all the wrong they have done, can go to Him and repent, ask forgiveness from the Lord and become clean, get a clean conscience because He can hand over everything and seek forgiveness because Jesus paid for everyone's sins and wrongdoing on the cross. He who was pure in every sense of the word paid the price to bail us out from all the wrongs we've done, from all the guilt and everything that could take us down. So today I want you to think, take some time and think, what is the meaning of your life? What do you want to spend the rest of your life doing? Do you want to do good, genuine good? Or do you want to just spend your life wasting the most precious thing you've been given, your time, your energy, your abilities, on frivolous things, which will not be a part of your legacy. One thing about wisdom is that it continues to bless. You may go through some trouble in the beginning, but the lessons from all the troubles you've been through, the lessons from all the trials you've been through, will turn into something sweet later in life as you gain wisdom from it. So I hope that you will seek wisdom Seek wisdom about yourself, about your life, about your eternal future and do what's right for you. So that's all for today in this episode of Timeless Words of Wisdom. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.